Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the show. Today I will be reviewing the Synology D716 Plus Network Attached Storage or NAS. If you don't have a NAS, you should seriously consider getting one. Backing up on hard drive, USB, DVD isn't really safe. You need a NAS to have safe data backups, pure and simple. Even if you have a Synology or any other NAS, it'll still be worth watching this video. As some of the features on the DS716 Plus are a first for Synology and this NAS may well be a worthy upgrade to your current NAS. The DS716 Plus is a flagship two bay NAS from Synology for 2016. You can get it for around $650 Australian. You can get it even cheaper at span.com who deliver worldwide for what it's worth. And if you tell Rob I sent you, he'll definitely put up the price. Yes, I did say put up the price. He will. Rob, he's a bit, he does, he's a bit wary of me, Rob. Anyway, for what you pay, you get one hell of a NAS loaded with features that give you great bang for your buck. When it comes to design, you really have to hand it to Synology. No one makes better looking NAS products, period. It's certainly something you don't have to hide away. The outer casing is sturdy metal, not plastic. Both sides are signed by a cutout Synology logo that is not just there for looks, it's actually porous and acts as a vent. The trays are those awesome toolless Synology trays. They look good once fitted and make it ultra easy to install hard drives. The unit is compact and weighs 1.75 kilos. On the front of the NAS, you have two drive bays with locks, a USB 3 port, a one-touch copy button, a great feature that makes backing up a USB storage device as easy as one touch of a button. You also have the power button and the LED indicator lights. On the back you have another two USB 3 ports, the power port, eSATA for expandability with the DS513, giving you the ability to have seven hard drives with up to 56 terabytes of storage. You also have the Kensington lock and two 1 gigabit Ethernet ports that support link aggregation for extra transfer speed and failover. Both the front and the back look just as stylish as the rest of the unit. The overall design and build quality is top draw. I've said before Synology are the apple of NAS and the DS716 Plus typifies this. This is something that differentiates the DS716 Plus from other branded NASs. The attention to detail is of the highest standard. An example of Synology's attention to detail is looking at the back of the NAS. On the left I have a picture of the back of the DS716 Plus's main rival. On the right is the back of the DS716 Plus. Just take a look at that. I'll leave it up to you to decide which one is better in terms of attention to detail in design. Moving on to specs. This is the first Synology NAS to feature Intel's Serilon quad-core CPU. Its clock speed is 1.6 GHz and it can burst to 2.08 GHz. What this means is you get full x86 desktop class performance. This will be a significant performance upgrade compared to the ARM Mobile CPUs of the past. It still maintains low power usage at 18.96 watts running and 8.84 watts in hibernation. Noise is low at 18 decibels, so you will notice very little noise, if any at all. It also has built-in AES-NI encryption engine, that's the higher level, more advanced encryption, and 4K hardware encoding. This allows the DS716 Plus to transcode H.264 DCI 4K content at 30 frames per second and have encrypted file transfer speeds nearly as fast as unencrypted transfer speeds. That's 2.6 times faster than its predecessor in terms of encrypted file transfers. So this thing flies. It also sports two gigabytes of RAM, which is a sweet spot and dual gigabit LAN ports, supporting link aggregation for faster transfer speeds and failover. I was able to get with link aggregation and AES encryption enabled, 220 megabytes per second read and 120 megabytes per second write. I could not believe I was actually getting those speeds with encryption enabled and 4K content played with no problems at all. 
Just for reference, my home theater PC, which is a full desktop PC, cannot play back 4K video. So performance is exceptional and it lives up to its flagship status. As you can see hardware wise, the DS716 Plus is fully loaded with top specs and components putting this device top of its class. With three USB 3 ports, enough for all your external devices and an eSATA port for expansion to seven drives the DS716 Plus will be a worthy upgrade to any old two-bay NAS and has all the power and bells and whistles to future-proof the DS716 Plus for many years to come. The DS716 Plus runs Synology's award-winning DSM software, in this case 5.2. Installation and setup was simple. I have a video on that. I will leave a link in the description to that video if you want to see it. Synology are known for having the most user-friendly and intuitive software in the NAS market. I can definitely vouch for that. I had no problems figuring out how to use DSM. Even though DSM is simple, it is chock-a-block with advanced features. So if you're just starting out with NAS or you're advanced with network storage, the D716 Plus has you covered. I will be doing a video about DSM features on the DS716 Plus. It would take me a year to cover all the features of the DS716 Plus. I will just talk about the basic features and highlights now. Some of the advanced features I have not mentioned are advanced snapshot technology for data protection, the introduction of the superior BTRFS file system with built-in data integrity check. It's Synology's first two-bay NAS to support Docker virtualization. Now, if you're an advanced user, you will know what that is. It has two IP camera licenses and the ability to use up to 40 IP cameras for surveillance. You have the media server app where you can broadcast all your media DLNA enabled devices. You have video station, photo station and audio station where you can manage and access all your multimedia content. File station is where you manage your files and folders. Cloud station and download station allow you access to your data from anywhere, anytime. Also, you have CloudStation Sync, which lets you hook up with Google Drive, OneDrive, and Dropbox, etc. You have Surveillance Station, which lets you manage all your IP cameras. Note Station allows you to create and manage notes and rich text documents. And all those apps are just for starters. You can download loads more apps and utilities. In summary, if you're just starting out with a NAS, a small business that wants that wants an easy to use two bay NAS that has expandability for the future, you're into multimedia or someone that just wants the best two bay NAS, a power user who wants exceptional performance with 4K transcoding and advanced features like BTRFS, snapshots, Docker and AES NI encryption, look no further than the Synology DS716+. Plus. I researched NASAs for a long time. I come up with this one as being the best two bay NAS to start off with. And my research really proved right. So I do recommend this NAS. It's beautiful. It's easy to use. It works well. It does everything it says on the tin and more. And if you're after a two bay NAS that's expandable, just get it. I can say no more. So that's it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you've seen and don't forget to subscribe to see more tech content coming soon. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and until next time, tally ho.